These are gonna be some frothy avocados. You said a minute or so. You better keep shaking, girl. He's pretty good. <laughs> Welcome back, Craft Hunters. I'm Miss Savage, and today I'm going to be introducing you to a fabulous pre prohibition gin cocktail, the Clover Club. This cocktail is so easy to create at home, and you can even execute it as vegan friendly by substituting egg white with aquafaba. Aquafaba is the viscous water in which legume seeds like chickpeas have been cooked in. We're gonna make two versions so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of both looks and tastes. To make a Clover Club, you'll need gin, fresh lemon juice, simple syrup, fresh raspberries, eggs, or a can of garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas. I like to separate my egg whites from the yolk outside of the tin so they don't accidentally drop the yolk or eggshells into the mix. If you're using aquafaba, separate the liquid from the garbanzo beans. And if you like hummus, you can blend these with your favorite flavors to make a dip later. Let's start building our clover clubs. First, muddle four raspberries in your shaker. Next, measure out two ounces of your favorite gin. Then pour in equal parts of fresh lemon juice and simple syrup. We're gonna use three quarter ounce. Always taste your cocktail with a straw to make sure the portions work for your palate. If you think it tastes great, then it probably does, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Finally, add three quarter ounce of egg white or aquafaba. Here, we're gonna do one and one. Now it's time for a nice long dry shake, and that means no ice. The longer you shake, the frothier and silkier the head of your cocktails will be. After you've shaken for about a minute or so, open up your tin and add ice. Shake for about 20 seconds or until the tin is very cold. This is called a wet shake. Now for the fun part. Double strain your cocktail into a chilled coupe glass. Watch that foam build and separate from the cocktail. For a garnish, I like to do one or three raspberries on a pick or pay shot hearts. So, how does it taste? Without considering diet restrictions, I absolutely love the texture and the body more in the Clover Club. I know the egg white turns off some people and they think there's a scent, but as far as I can tell, there's no aroma coming from this cocktail. I think fresh ingredients also help prevent um, weird flavors and smells coming through a cocktail as far as fresh citrus and fresh eggs. As far as the aquafaba goes, I don't feel like the body is as much there. It could have to do with ice. It could have to do with the type of aquafaba. But I do feel that the Clover Club in its classic form is the right way to go. If you have diet restrictions, this one is a beautiful substitute. And that was the Clover Club. I hope that you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Want to learn how to make another cocktail that doesn't suck? Check out this next video.